This is a piece of plastic. It is a red piece of plastic because, well, I can just see it's a red piece of plastic. For a computer, this piece of plastic looks something like this in the visual spectrum with a specific peak in the red area, making it possible for the computer to identify this as red. This is also a piece of polypropylene plastic. I know this because I can just see it on the product itself. It has a very distinct marking. And for a computer, this piece of plastic looks something like this in the infrared spectrum. And you can see some very distinct dips, and these are based on the overtones of the type of plastic. And that makes it possible for a computer to identify the type of plastic. With this sample, it's easy because I can just see the color and I can actually see what product, what type of plastic it is made of because the manufacturer stamped it on there. But this is not always the case. Either manufacturers just don't put it on there in general. And let's be honest, if you 3D print something, do you always mark it with the type of plastic on your product? Yeah. Uh, or over time, uh, somewhere in the lifetime, it breaks where only half of the part of the product can be identified and the other half is unknown. Or even worse, it ends up in the oceans and over time the marking wears off and then you have even more unknown plastics. Where a color sensor can help to identify the color of a product, a plastic scanner could help to identify the type of plastic which is mandatory in order to recycle a piece of plastic. And this is exactly what the Plastic Scanner project set out to do. Making an open source device that can identify the most common types of plastic, making plastic recycling simple and accessible everywhere around the world, accelerating plastic recycling. The project started a little over two years ago, and back then I just started with talking to people. I visited different recycling places around the world and helped to set up recycling workspaces to see what challenges they face. And from there I found some very distinct challenges and a clear heading and a goal for the project. For example, only doing the most common types of plastic and having it work offline because there is no Wi-Fi on the landfill. By now, we're steadily making new prototypes and we're working towards a proper release of the plastic scanner. But the longer the project takes, the more complex it also becomes. And it becomes more apparent that there's only a certain limitation to the skills that I have as an individual. And that is why the last year we have grown the community, people interacting with the project. And by now there's hundreds of people and institution companies who would like to replicate the plastic scanner or actually buy the plastic scanner. But by far, most importantly, 70 people raise their hands saying, I am interested in helping out with the plastic scanner. I have certain skills that can help out with the plastic scanner project and I would like to contribute to this. And that's just amazing. And it's a super cool example of how open hardware projects can work. Everybody can chip in with the skills that they have, making it possible to create a proper plastic scanner resulting in more plastic recycled. So for, my, for me personally, the goal this year is making it possible to have give these people who raise their hands the resources that they need to work on the project. For some people that might be a salary where they can pay the bills and really focus on the plastic scanner. For others that just might be a fun team and a fun workspace where they can build prototypes. So with the prototyping, we're now at development board 2.1, where we have a very flexible board that can be adjusted for different circumstances. We can test different technical setups. And based on that, we can improve and change parameters to see how we can improve the readings. We can already see some nice clustering of white types of plastics, but we also still see some challenges, for example, with colored pieces of plastic especially the darker colored ones. And we also want to expand the project to more 3D printing plastics, because we see that this would really help the maker movement become more sustainable. This is why we're eager to keep working on the plastic scanner project, make plastic recycling simple and accessible for everyone, and have it as a true showcase of a awesome open hardware project. And that's why we are participating in the Hackaday Prize 2022. This is our submission and uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!